Good morning. It's garden tour day. Excuse the hair. It, I've been out working in the garden and it's a little fluffy this morning. Um, and I've got my tea and I am ready to go check out the garden. So let's go see what's blooming right now or what's growing. Look, our lavender poppies are blooming. We got several of them. We've got quite a few. They're beautiful. Pollinators have been loving them. And we've got some over here. They're just getting ready to pop out. But yes, if you notice, all those tomatoes that are right there. They used to be so small, and now we've got one, if you notice, right there. That one is uh, over seven foot. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the trellises are finally starting to fill out. If you remember from just a couple weeks back, there was hardly anything on the trellis. And now it's finally starting to look loaded. Half this side here is beans, um, and then the left side is the uh, gourds and soon to be watermelon. Um, there is a one small watermelon on there that I noticed the other day that's still tiny, uh, so hopefully it will uh, start filling out soon. But I am very excited to soon be picking a lot of uh, fruit off of this. Well, the sugar step PTP is pretty much done. Um, I've taken off almost the entire TP of uh, peas. Uh, now it's just got green beans and a squash plant and then quite a few of those renegade tomato plants that just kind of were in there. Ooh, sorry about the lighting guys. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we'll see if we've got any beans on here that need to be picked or not. This is one of the beans. And I think when I was pulling out the sugar snap peas, this bean got um, disturbed. Because it does not like it, look like it's doing well at all. The squash or whatever that is, is going crazy. Um, it's getting ready to come into this rose bush, um, which I think is a climbing rose because it is this this rose going it's going crazy. It's climbing everywhere. I gotta make a trellis for it because it is just climbing up all over the place. Um, but this bean, one of them I think has died, but the rest of them are doing well, and this teepee is gonna be filled out soon. It's got little tomatoes on it. Um, this one is the, I think, blueberry cherry, um, just because of the coloring on it. Um, and it's still blue a little bit in the stem. It's dark. Um, and then we've got some, I think, tamales, of course, in here. There is some pest, but I haven't put anything on these. Um, this, these tomatoes, I'm just leaving. I'm not trimming them. They're, I only trimmed this one a little bit um, when I first put it in. But the rest of them, I'm completely leaving to their own devices. So we'll see what they do. Um, Well, it's time to pick some of the cucumbers. Uh, some of the pickling cucumbers are ready, so let's get started picking. I know that sun is very bright. <laughs> Can't see anything. Alright, so we got some cucumbers in here. Well, 
just those three. None of the cucamelons are ready yet, so they're all still really tiny. Hopefully tomorrow or the day after I'll have a good cucamelon harvest, but these are still just way too small. So for cucumber harvest right now we've only got three. Um, that's all right. It's still kind of early. It, the plant is loaded with them, so I see a whole bunch on here, but they're just not the size ready for me yet. Um, this one I could pick and, and pickle, um, but I'm going to slice most of these up and probably eat them until we get a good enough harvest of them to pickle. But if you look, the cucamelons, if we can get you in here, cucamelons are starting to produce now. So pretty soon I'll be able to start picking cucamelons. I'm hoping to get enough to pickle them. We had three ripe the other day so the boys and I got to try them they were pretty excited to try the cucamelons and then my nasturtium is starting to bloom more I've not tried those flowers and I'm not really sure if I really want to try nasturtium flowers it, it just seems weird to me to eat a flower but what do they taste like does anybody know I mean do they taste is it worth it for me to try them? Um, or would you say no? <laughs> let, let me know down below what you guys think. Should I try a nasturtium flower when it blooms? Looky, looky. I see a patty pan. It's huge. This patty pan variety, I didn't realize, was a runner, and it is taking over part of my trellis. And then I have this, which I'm not sure what this is, that's running up the side of my trellis. There's no blooms on it yet, so I don't know what it is. But the oregano is doing really well. And then you can see all the flowers on the squashes. I'm not inundated with squash yet. Um, I know it will come. Because I planted more than I needed. Um, and I know everybody was saying, you're going to have squash coming out of your ears. Um, so far it's not happened yet, but it's still early in the season and I've not had um, any squash bugs yet, which are great. Uh, normally by this time uh, I've lost a couple plants to squash bugs and uh, boars, but uh, so far they're not here, so we'll see. Um, but let me take you around to show you the rest of the garden. Look at all these beautiful squash. They're just going crazy. Here's some baby zucchinis. I don't know if you guys can see them down there. There's one here. And one there. Oh, and another one. Right there. Flower already fell off of that one. Yep, as I try to trip over stuff. <laughs> oh, here's some more. Little baby zucchini. So pretty soon and we're going to be in a day with zucchinis. Those are the Black Beauty zucchini. 
And then in here somewhere we have golden zucchini. There's some of the golden. They're not really being pollinated all that much. I may have to come in and clip some of these. Because the um, leaves are just massive on these. Oh, there's one. Kind of hiding in here. That one's almost ready to pick. But yeah, they're just massive. They're everywhere. <laughs> they're falling over the thing. And then if you look down this row, I don't know if you guys can see this entire row from here all the way down to the end is tomatoes. Anyway, back to the squash. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure something was ready here a minute ago. I was looking earlier. I saw something in here. Oh, we got this guy. He's almost... Oops. Let's see. Yeah, he's not quite ready yet. He's almost ready. Because there's a whole bunch of little guys. See all the little ones? In the patty pan. Oh, here's another one. That one may almost be ready. Oh, here's another one. Let's bring my clippers out. There's another one. Yeah, those look ready. Looks like I'll have to go to the store and get some sausage. I found a recipe for stuffed patty pan squash made with sausage. So we're going to try that um, and see how that tastes. Um, if anybody else has any recipes for using patty pan, let me know because, uh, as you can see, I'm going to be inundated with patty pan squash. And I'm either going to have to find recipes to use them in, or I'm going to have to start giving them away. <laughs> so if you have a recipe, let me know. One of the plants is kind of coming out onto the walkway here. I've stepped over it several times. Um, I'm not sure which squash variety this is, but it is running and I'm having to walk over it. But so far, bachelor's buttons are doing beautifully. They're starting to bloom. Uh, my zinnias are blooming. And then we have lots of tomatoes on. You notice down here, there's these little guys, and then, where are those other ones? There they are. They're hiding. And then there's these guys. So we've got plenty of tomatoes. And this squash, whatever this is. I'm not sure what variety this is because it grew up in my compost that I stuck here along with all the tomatoes. So who knows what variety it happens to be. But then my sunflower. My sunflower is taller than I am. Look at this. So it's over five foot now. That's awesome. Um, I know. Really big feet. Sunflower taller than me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, hopefully it'll bloom soon and we'll see what, uh, what variety this one is because I actually don't remember. Um, I planted several different varieties, so we'll see what they are. And if you notice from last week, we weed eated. Um, so that way I could see what plants were in here. I did accidentally chop one of the tomatoes off. And I think it's dying. <laughs> it 
but the poor pear. I chopped him off. Um, he might grow back. I guess here's his stake and then the roots. And then this is his chopped off section. Um, I just threw it in the ground after taking all the things off. Um, I'm not that disheartened because I got a ton more pear, but it's kind of nice because he already had fruit on him, but it's all right. I missed a spot. There we go. Okay. But yeah, see, I got tons of tomatoes. I've got tomatoes everywhere. And then more tomatoes down to here. And this one is the Chadwick Cherry. And he's growing very well. This one has tomatoes on it, and it is another red pear. Good. But see those? So, even though that other one had stuff on it, this one still does. So that's okay. And then this one. Oh, this is the Abe Lincoln. Yay, he lived. I thought he had died. <laughs> but yay. So, I've got... I'm going to come out and I'm going to trim this one since I really want this one to do well. To trim him and stake him up. Since he's fallen over. But that's the Abe Lincoln. And then, see, there's more tomatoes down this way. And then if you notice, our butternut squash are just going crazy. They're finally coming down through. And, whoops. They're trying to take over the apple. <laughs> um, but there's a few butternut squash snuck in here that are growing. I'm hoping they keep growing and that the dog doesn't eat them. Because <laughs> my dog loves butternut squash. I usually make him treats if uh, he doesn't eat them first. I try to make him dog treats out of them. Oh, sorry guys. Oh, look. More tomatoes. don't know what variety these are. They might be another one of those pear because of the shape. Sorry, focus is out. Oh, my focus. Um, we're gonna, they're trying to get in with my Elderberry. And I kind of want to keep the elderberry. Ugh, I hate these vines. These vines are a bit of a menace. Okay, this one starts to come back out and stake that up because I can't get to stay up there right now. But the elderberry is doing good. Um, it's still growing. It's not flowered yet. Um, that vine is a menace. It keeps trying to take over everything. Um, But they're doing well. More sunflowers. And these look like they're getting ready to bloom soon. And then my blueberries. My poor, poor blueberries. This one 
They're not ripe yet. They're getting there. Um, then my really big blueberry plant. It's kind of sad. It's the blueberry that we had to move um, when the new porch was put in. And we didn't actually even realize it was a blueberry plant at first. Um, we saw all the fruit on it, but at first I thought it was just a, a strange plant until I, I dug down um, cleaning weeds out of it one day and found a little stake that said blueberry plant. Um, and so then it was a fight with the birds to eat blueberries. <laughs> but yeah, this one, when we moved it, um, we kind of took the tap root. So it, it, it's died back, but luckily it's got new shoots. And if you notice here, it's got lots of new shoots. Thank goodness. So soon we'll have a whole new blueberry plant um, for next season. And this has all got to be mulched again. Um, I didn't put a thick enough layer of mulch, so all the weeds came back. So I had a weed eat around. But then there's another blueberry plant over here. I've got three of them um, for pollination. So hopefully they do well. And then I've got herbs back here um, and more of the lavender poppy. And some of these herbs are doing really well. Oop, I've got a renegade plant in there that's got to be taken out. But yay, my basil, which I thought had all died. Ooh, I'm going to have to start picking some of that. And i got rosemary in here and some of the lemon balm. Oh, that smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this lemon balm. Oh my goodness. I love the smell of it. And this rosemary. Oh, I can smell is the lemon balm now. <laughs> oh my goodness, it smells so good. Um, and then there's some oregano. Oh, I still smell lemon balm. <laughs> and then this mess of whatever this happens to be right now. <laughs> I know one of these is one of the native plants I planted from work that I got, um, which is this one. And then there's some nettles in here. Ow! Stinging nettle. I touched it. Yep, I know I'm an idiot. Ow! That hurt. Stinging nettles. They definitely go by their name. Um, Time to go back down there. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's tomatoes over here. I oh, know, there's tomatoes all over my, my yard. <laughs> um, but these guys are porters. So they're doing beautifully. And then from this view, you really get to see the trellises, how full they look. And the poor tomatoes that look like they're coming off their vine. <laughs> but let me show you. Now these daisies are the ones from Baker Creek. They're not as pretty as I thought they were going to be. Um, their pictures from Baker Creek look, made them look gorgeous. And they're, they're pretty but they're not like a wow like I thought they were going to be. And this basil smells like licorice. Oh my gosh. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. Um, these green beans, we've been picking off them. I've gotten at least four pounds of green beans off already. And they're still... I don't know if you guys can see this, but they're still... T look, look at this. <laughs> There's still a whole bunch of them to pick right now. Um, so it looks like I'll be picking green beans. And then if you notice, see the tomatoes? There's tomatoes on. And more tomatoes on. And more. There's tomatoes everywhere. <laughs> and some of the varieties, like I said before, I don't know what they are anymore. I'm going to have to look when they come on. Mr. Spiderweb, I'm sorry, but you're in my way. Um, these 
most of these are the bigger like early cascade and then the um, oh here's one of those vines bad vine um, and look at the black print look at these aren't they gorgeous I love the fluting that's going on on here that one and then the other one is actually over here because I goofed and put didn't put them next to each other here's the other ones Whoop. you just get out of the way but I love the fluting on these let's see it's funny because when my nephews are over and if I'm sitting in here and I start talking to them, they're like, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm like, I'm in the forest of tomatoes. <laughs> because literally you can't see me in the forest of tomatoes. Um, no, I'm not standing up right now, but if I stand up, it, it's still, they're, most of them are still taller than me. So yeah, see, I'm, now I'm standing in the forest of tomatoes. It's literally a forest of tomatoes. It's quite comical. Um, I have already had requests from my nephew that when they're ready, he gets to pick them um, because they're his tomatoes. They're not my tomatoes, they're his tomatoes. <laughs> Gotta love the thought process of four-year-olds. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I can't wait um, to start getting harvests off of these tomatoes. Um, we're pretty excited because this year, Last year was a, a really bad year for me for tomatoes. They just, I don't know what went on, but this year they're just going absolutely insane. I love it. <laughs> I cannot wait. Yeah, we get a look at the cucumbers and the cucumelons from the back end. They're, they're really climbing. And then our gourds from the other side are trying to take over. And the beans on this side are climbing up along with some of the tomatoes. As you can see, it's kind of a jungle to get out of here. And where did I put my drink? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, ha, ha. there it is. <laughs> so this tomato is the federale I think is what it's called um, and I am training it to go up the side of this trellis because I want to see what it does I'm kind of hoping it gets tall enough to go as far as it can along the trellis but uh oh I see tomatoes falling over I'm gonna have to fix those um, they've fallen over on the other side drat they must not have been hooked up. I must not. I must have missed them the day I came out in the rain. Yes. The last storm we had that came through, it was pouring down rain, and I realized that none of my tomatoes had been secured at the top. And so I came out here. I was. It was probably 45 minutes of me sitting in the rain, tying tomatoes up. It was quite amusing. Um, I was drenched, but uh, all the tomatoes got propped back up. <laughs> Um, but these, these are all of the cherries. And if you can see my seven foot taller one, way up there. Um, that's my seven footer. And it is the um, Chadwick cherry, I think is what that one is. So the Chadwick or the regular cherry. And it's, it's just going berserk. Uh, my Romas are looking beautiful. Here's my Romas. They're doing gorgeous, and there's more of them. There's one hiding here in this foliage, and then there's some more there. Sorry about the shaking camera today, guys. <clears throat> it's one of those days. But yeah, this uh, poor tomato fell over. <laughs> Not sure which variety that one is that fell over. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, it's part of my Chadwick cherry that fell over. Okay. So it's a sucker on the Chadwick cherry that went. Must have missed that sucker. Sometimes you miss suckers. And they go crazy. But look. There's the blueberry cherry. Oh, come on. You see those pretty colors? They are... This one is starting to turn. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it may not show up on the camera. It may not focus on it right now. But this has a beautiful purple coloring right now. These other ones don't have the purple coloring yet, but they're not all in the sunlight. And then... <coughs> These little tiny ones are starting to show their color too. But we are loaded with tomatoes. There's so many cherry tomatoes on here. It's I love it. Cannot wait. When we did pick our first two tomatoes, um, the greenhouse tomatoes, they they were ready. Two of the four were ready. We picked those. Um, I got to eat one. Um, the other one, my nephew claimed. So <laughs> he ate that one. Um, the other ones aren't ready yet, but I'll take you guys in here and show you. Um, welcome to the mess. <laughs> this has not been cleaned out, and it is a wreck in here. So, sorry guys. Here is our tomato plant that overwintered in here. This is my little survivor. We've got three tomatoes left on it. Um, this one. And then these two. Which, oops. See, I've got a mess. I'm stepping on things now. <laughs> um, they're not ready yet. Um, but this plant is actually doing fairly well. And then, as you can see, I haven't messed with my hydroponic in a while. So, it's just going berserk. The uh, lettuce that was in there is going to seed. The tomatoes that are in here are curling. And so it's just a mess in here. I've got to come in on one of my days off and just clean it out. And it looks like something has jumped on my hydroponics because there's a hole where there shouldn't be a hole. So we'll have to see what's been in here. I think dog has been in here because I see holes. Um, either that or those rabbits are back, which I hope not. <laughs> um, and then yeah, my poor tomatoes that are all going to die. These are the sacrifices. Um, what happens when you accidentally grow too many tomatoes? And I was going to sell a lot of them at um, one of the markets, but once COVID happened, and I just haven't had a chance to throw them in the yard somewhere, so they just kind of sit here to die. Poor tomatoes. Hmm. But my strawberries are blooming again. I'll set my cup down here. So my ever-bearing strawberries, they are blooming again, which I've got to get a bigger container for them, um, a more permanent container, because these two containers, we're just kind of threw them in there this winter and see what they do, um, but I've got to get a more permanent solution for them, so I'll have to find somewhere in the yard to put them. Oh, look, more of the pear tomatoes. I don't know if this is the red or the yellow, because I had a red and a yellow. Um, hopefully one of the two, hopefully both survived. I know I've got red that survived, but I'm hoping that one's the yellow. We'll see. Anyway. <laughs> yes, I know, my ADD kicks in. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> um, but the peppers, I guess it's time to show you guys this section of, ooh, hello, sorry guys, 
guess it's time to show you guys this section of the garden. Um, this was the section that we cleaned out because uh, the previous owners, when they made this garden, uh, you, the minute you walked in, you kind of tripped over a garden bed. It's not the, the, the best idea. <laughs> so we fixed it. Um, and let me show you guys what it's looking like now. All right. So we've got our trellis with our cucumbers and a renegade tomato. This is the orange tomato variety. Um, it's a beef steak that I got. Um, somebody gave me an orange tomato. And so I decided to save some of the seeds from it, see if it did anything. And it's growing. I don't know if it's gonna, what it's going to produce, what they're going to look like. If it's uh, some kind of hybrid, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. It's a fun little experiment. But the peppers. I am super excited this year. I've actually got peppers on. Uh, the last couple of years, peppers just do not want to grow. And this year, they're going crazy. So, more cucumbers. This is the boys' happiness. They want cucumbers to knock them in the head when they walk over here. <laughs> so, we've got cucumbers coming up this trellis. We're going to train it to go up and around. And hopefully they'll... As the boys say, bonk them in the head. <laughs> um, of course, they're a little short, so they won't bonk them in the head. But it's fun, fun littleness for them. But my cute or cucumbers, cheese, my peppers. If you notice, you can start seeing the flowers. So we are going to be loaded with peppers soon. There's more flowers over here. More beautiful flowers. I am so excited. We've got quite a few different variety of peppers. Oh, hello basil. There was a dark opal basil in here, but I don't think it survived. No, it looks like it died. Then I've got, of course, lettuce going to seed that's got to be pulled out. Bunch more tomatoes over here. Some of them are looking a little sickly because I haven't done any maintenance to these guys which I'm gonna have to test lane currents they're so tiny um I haven't gotten any of the test lane currents off yet birds have been eating them all oh look I got a spider friend I don't know if you guys can see him Blech. He's, no, he's not gonna focus on him. But yeah, I got a spider friend who can eat the bugs. But look at all, look at that. That's just loaded with blossoms. We're gonna have lots of peppers. The carrots are starting to kind of dwindle down. And then the eggplant. They're really excited about these because look at that. They're getting ready to flower. I'm gonna have eggplants. Don't know what I'm going to do with eggplants, but my nephew wanted to try them. So, we're trying them. <laughs> hey, I try to grow what they want to try to grow. It's always good to let them try it once. If they don't like it, they don't like it, but at least they tried it. They grew it, so you're more likely to try something if you grow it yourself. Versus if you just pick it up in the store. <gasps> Look! I have broccoli. Oh my goodness. Broccoli did horrible last year. Um, I think I got one little tiny piece off of it and then it just bolted. Um, it's been really cool though the last couple weeks. Hasn't been like completely monsterly hot yet and it's June. So I don't know. I might get some. Normally about this time the broccoli's already gone. So I'm pretty excited. We'll see. Look at that! Look at that broccoli head. Let's keep an eye on it and see if it does anything. Look at a cute little broccoli. And I got kale that needs to be picked again. And I have... Oh! Table Queen squash. 
I can tell because I can see her right there. She's the little table queen. Yes, I know I'm barefoot. <laughs> I don't like putting shoes on in the garden. And then we have beans. Lots of beans and potatoes in my compost bin, which I haven't looked to see if there's any left in there. And then those potatoes are just about dead. Um, it's almost time to pull those up and see if there's any more left in those. Pulled quite a few up in there, but uh, we'll see if there's any more. And then the boys' tomato experiments and cucumbers and then the Tesslane currants which I still haven't gotten any tomatoes off of yet <laughs> birds have been eating them before I can get to them none of the boys cucumbers are ready yet and then more beans as you can see some of them have kind of come uncovered in that last rain shower we had but hopefully these do well and I get more green beans because my goal is to freeze a whole bunch of them this year so far I have had just about five pounds of which we've eaten um I was kind of hoping to save a couple pounds but some of the boys like green beans <laughs> And then my onions, which are going to seed. This is kind of like the sad part of the garden. It, it needs some assistance. And we got one lonely potato that's still going. No, he's still growing, so maybe. And that bean plant is looking kind of sad. But he's got beans. Oh, he's got a good sized bean on him. I'll have to pick him. Pretty soon we'll have tomato harvesting videos. Well, that's kind of it for the garden. Um, oh wait, let me show you the good stuff variety that's sitting in a pot over here that I noticed the other day had a tomato on it. Um, so I'm kind of hoping the good stuff does well. Let's see. There it is. Mm. Where's the get stuffed? Look at him. So far, it's just one lonely tomato on our get stuffed. Hopefully, he'll do well. Um, he is in a really tiny pot. Um, along with the rest of these, these are the, the kind of more sacrifices <laughs> that are just kind of sitting here. I know, I have tomatoes everywhere. But, all right, now I'm going to sign off and I'm uh, going to go pick some green beans. I might pick a couple more cucumbers if there is any, but uh, thanks guys and uh, thanks for enjoying my garden with me. Um, we'll see you next time. <laughs>